एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू बायो स्कूल दिस इज गायत्री माय लास्ट वीडियो इट वाज ऑन कीस्टोन स्पेसीज इन दैट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड व्हाई सम स्पेसीज आर नेम्ड एज कीस्टोन स्पेसीज इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड एग्जांपल्स ऑफ कीस्टोन स्पेसीज यू विल फाइंड द लिंक इन माय डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल सी सम अदर इंपोर्टेंट इकोलॉजिकल स्पेसीज लाइक अम्ब्रेला स्पेसीज इंडिकेटर स्पेसीज प्लग सिप स्पेसीज एंड डोमिनेंट स्पेसीज So guys please sit back and enjoy the lecture Hey everyone hope you all are doing great let's see some other important ecological species The first one is umbrella species is umbrella protect people underneath them from the sun and rain like that umbrella species keep other animals safe in the same habitat So we can say that umbrella species are the species whose conservation protect the other species in the ecosystem. So what is the example of umbrella species? One of the example of umbrella species is tiger. Tiger need the large forest to survive and by saving the tiger we can save the other animals that are present in that habitat. Tigers are important for balance of the ecosystem as they control the prey population. If the tigers are absent, then the prey of the tiger, like the deer, boar, and other grazers number or the herbivorous number, it will be increases. That may degrade the forest ecosystem. Okay. So by protecting the tiger, we can protect the other animals which are present in the same habitat. That's why the tiger is one of the example of umbrella species. Then the next important species is flagship species. What is flagship species? Flagship species are act as an ambassador or the symbol of a defined habitat or for the environmental cause. The flagship species they draw the attention of people for the biodiversity conservation. Okay? So the flagship species they attract the attention of people and raise the concern about the conservation of biodiversity. So what are the examples of flagship species? The examples of flagship species are the Bengal tiger, Asian elephant, and the giant panda. Okay. And international flagship occurs when the species is recognized worldwide. Like uh, the giant panda, it is a a worldwide flagship species okay some of the flagship species are the ecological flagship species for protection of a particular diversity it may be the regional flagship species okay so basically the flagship species are those species that attract the attention of people to protect the biodiversity and the next one is the indicator species as its name indicates that indicator species are those whose status provide information on the overall condition of ecosystem and of other species present in that ecosystem okay so let's see some of the examples of indicator species the first one is the lichen lichen it is a indicator of the air quality like it is very sensitive to the air pollution so when there is a air pollution in that region the population of lichen it will be the sparse or it may be totally absent from that environmental condition okay the another example is the algal bloom so algal bloom means the rapid growth of the algae in a ecosystem so why the number of algae are increases that are uh, because of the increase in amount of the nutrients from the sedimentation run off okay that cause the algal bloom if there is a algal bloom then there will be the reduction in the dissolved oxygen of the water that may stress the other organism present in the environment okay. you know the earthworm it has also act as an indicator species of the soil okay the soil health condition we can know from the population of earthworm as it uh, improve the soil structure water movement nutrient cycling as well as the plant growth so these are the examples of indicator species indicator species is that species which indicate the condition of environment as well as the other species present in that ecosystem 
and the other one is the dominant species what do you mean by dominant dominant means uh, the species is that is most commonly found in the particular ecosystem okay who has the greatest biomass in an ecosystem and influence the distribution of other organism in that ecosystem is known as the dominant species so basically the dominant species has the greater biomass in that ecosystem as compared to that other organisms and the dominant species are better in obtaining the resources resisting disease also they are the good competitors or the predators as compared to the other species present in the environment so what are the examples of dominant species okay let's consider in a forest ecosystem so in the forest ecosystem the trees are the dominant species with their height resource use and the seed production they greatly influence what and where other vegetation can grow and also influence what kind of animals will live in that forest okay so one of the example is the oak tree another example is that uh, you know in the desert there is a heat and the lack of the precipitation so the dominant plants and animals have developed or adapted uh, to preserve the water and survive in the hot temperature those animals who have adapted to that condition are the dominant species okay so like uh, acacia trees and uh, euc eucalyptus are, are the populate australian desert similarly some nocturnal and the boring mammals uh, are the dominant fauna in desert ecosystem so the dominant species are those species whose abundance is more in that ecosystem and they control the population of other other species in that system so the learning point of today's lectures are first one is the umbrella species by protecting the umbrella species we can protect the other species present in the ecosystem the second one is the flagship species flagship species are those species are act as an ambassador of the ecosystem they raise the concern of people for conservation of biodiversity and the third one is that the indicator species indicator species are those species who indicate the condition of environment and the other species is present in that ecosystem and the fourth one is the dominant species dominant species are those species whose biomass is greater in that ecosystem and they control the other plants and animals that will be present in that ecosystem so basically the questions in the exam are asked from the definition okay so let's see some of the questions from previous year csir ugc net questions so let's see some of the previous year csir ugc net questions so the first question is following four type of species were observed in a community okay species a has a large effect on community because of its abundance okay it has the large effect on the community why because of its the larger abundance or is the it has the greater biomass okay so which one it is the dominant species so in the option the dominant species is uh, in a so the species a is the dominant species and we know the correct answer is option a but let's see the other options also okay species b has a large role in community out of proportion to its abundance okay this is the keystone species so the keystone species are defined as those species that has a larger effect on the ecosystem that is not proportional to its abundance okay mean the keystone species is they can control the ecosystem instead of is the abundance so that is the keystone species is also correct and the status of species c provide information on overall health of an ecosystem okay which species that provide the overall condition of the ecosystem that is the indicator species okay indicator species and s significant conservation resources are allocated to species d which is single large and instantly recognizable which one that is the flagship species okay so the for this question the correct answer is option a okay the second one 
Following are the description used by conservation biologists for characterization species groups in a community. Okay, let's see what are those. Species with a disproportionately large effect on its environment relative to its abundance. So, which one? This is the keystone species. Okay, whose effect on the environment is disproportionate to its abundance. And Q. Uh, option Q is species defining a trait or characteristics of the environment. Okay, the species which define the trait and the characteristics of the environment is the indicator species. This one is the indicator species. And the first one is the keystone species. Okay. R. Species whose conservation leads to direct protection of other species means by protecting that species we can protect the other animal present in that habitat. So which species is that? This, that one is the umbrella species. Again first I write the UMB umbrella species. Let's see the option is species which is instantly recognizable and used as a focus of border conservation effort. Which one? Which species is, uh, is instantly recognizable and used as a focus of a border conservation? Which species is used for the conservation purpose? That one is the flagship species, right? That one is the flagship species. So, which of the following combination correctly identifies these species or groups? So, the P is keystone species, Q is the indicator species and uh, R is umbrella species but here r is the flagship species so this one is the wrong option so let's see the option b p is the keystone species q is indicator species r is the umbrella species and s is the flagship species so the correct answer is option b okay so mostly in the examination the questions are asked from the definition of Keystone species, umbrella species, the indicator species, flagship species, and dominant species. So I'm sure that now you will able to solve any question related to this topic. So guys, uh, this video will definitely help you in your examination. So if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and bye-bye. Uh, See you in my next video.